Growing up, Luis was actually born and raised in the village from the Resident Evil 4 game. Nothing is known of his family life or childhood beyond his grandfather who hunted in the forest beyond the village. Luis left his home behind to make a name for himself in the modern world and earned a degree as a biologist. Dr. Sarah later returned to the village as it was being taken over by the Los Illuminados, a cult which worshipped a parasitic organism native to the area. The cult's prophet, Osman Sadler, used the cult as a recruiting tool for his real objective, the creation of bio weapons for use in international terrorism. Luis Serra led the genetic modification of the Plagas in an island facility and had instructions to make them more difficult to overcome. During Luis's research, the various mutation effects one or several Plagas could have on host was investigated, leading to the El Gigante and Regenerator. Further research into human-animal hybrids resulted in U3, Vertigo, and the Novistadors. When he became disillusioned with Sadler and the research he was performing for him, Luis Serra began planning his escape. With access to the internet, he attempted to contact a friend he met at the university, hoping he would send help. Instead, he found himself in contact with Ada Wong, then a member of the organization, who had access to the friend's email after his death. The organization successfully infiltrated the cult with Jack Krauser, but would later send Ada Wong to serve as Luis Serra's partner. In his escape from the island, Luis stole a test tube containing an egg of the dominant subspecies, which he was to hand over to Ada Wong. Dr. Serra was later kidnapped by Chief Mendez's forces as he made his way through the village and was sealed in a cabinet to be interrogated later. Sadler refused to allow his execution until the location of the test tube was revealed. This opened up a window for his escape when the decision was made to take him to a camp with a fellow prisoner, Leon Kennedy. Luis Serra was aware of the operation regarding rescuing Ashley, but refused to divulge his identity to Leon Kennedy, instead claiming to be a police officer taken captive by the group and overhearing their conversations. The two worked together on several occasions to subvert Los Illuminados and, with Ashley, made their way into the Salazar castle. Unfortunately, Sadler eventually caught up to Luis Serra and impaled him through the chest with his tentacle tail. Shortly before his death, Serra helped Leon by giving him pills to suppress the growth of the Plaga in his body, as well as leaving behind all the research notes scattered throughout the castle and island complex. Now, Luis's death was no doubt very impactful to many fans, but the question is, what if Luis would have never been killed? The most likely reason I could think of would be escaping with Ada. As explained in the lore, Luis was promised escape from Sadler by Wesker and his organization in exchange for a sample of the virus. As seen in the cutscene, Ada was very close by during the death of Luis, and the fact that Luis had the sample on him at the time tells me that Ada would have confronted Luis after Leon left, retrieve the sample, and then proceed to flee the castle with Luis. Now, if this were to be the case, that just begs the question, what would have happened to Leon? Ada saved Leon a few times and gave him some hints after the events of Luis's death. She saved him during the knife battle with Krauser, she bought Leon time to save Ashley from Sadler, and she ultimately helped Leon finish off Sadler once and for all by throwing him the special rocket launcher. So if you really think about it, if Luis wouldn't have died, then there is a chance that Leon would have failed his mission and him and Ashley would have ended up turning into Ganados. I do say it's a chance, however, because I feel like Leon being Leon would have found another way around the scenarios I previously mentioned. Another possibility I could see would be the game ending at the castle. Leon and Luis were on good terms, and it seemed like Luis was eager to help find a cure for Leon and Ashley. With Luis being alive, he probably could have been able to develop a cure for the virus by himself before Ashley was kidnapped, considering he was a very smart biologist that is very familiar with the virus after slaving away for Sadler. From here, they could have took a boat to escape back to the US and inform the president what was happening. From here, many troops could have been sent to neutralize the rest of the threat in the village, the castle, and on the island and finish off Sadler once and for all. Now another possibility is him teaming up with Leon or Ada. After the cabin fight when Ada and Luis were conversing, he told Ada, I don't care who you are as long as you get rid of that old man and his religious friends. This tells me that Luis obviously wants revenge, so if he really wanted Sadler dead then maybe he would have ended up joining Leon or Ada. Most likely Leon since Ada was working for a secret organization at the time. So maybe we could have seen him fight alongside Leon throughout the rest of the castle and island, leading all the way up to the final battle with Sadler ending in Sadler's defeat. This would have worked very well in Leon's favor because Luis knows the island inside and out since it was where he was slaving away for Sadler working to research and enhance the parasite. But anyways, there you have it. These are just a few theories on what could have potentially happened if Luis was never killed. If you ended up enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe for more Resident Evil content like this. Thanks for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Peace.